Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to exercise our shoulders and biceps. So we are going to try to have get some intensity going to build some big freaking good arms and also gain some strength. Now to start off with we are going to start with the greater stretch. Five repetitions on each side. Whenever I mention five repetitions on each side what I mean is five times we rotate on each side wherein we do thoracic rotation as you can see as I'm, how I'm performing it so that's what I mean when I say five repetitions on each side so total we'll be doing 10 repetitions great way to warm up also get our body's mobility going on before we start with our weightlifting sessions post completing the greatest stretch obviously we follow it up with a deep squat quite important mandatory to do deep squat once in a day to ensure good hip mobility and also it helped me a lot in terms of eliminating my lower back pain because oftentimes my hips are tight my hamstrings are tight but doing this over a period of time helped me a lot now before starting with our exercises we are going to do a small mobility drill so whenever i am doing my shoulder exercises i try to add one or two mobility drills just to get warmed up take my shoulder through the entire range of internal and external rotation and get it ready for the weightlifting sessions because I often times feel a little bit of stiffness but yes I definitely recommend this to anyone and everyone before we start our shoulder day workouts or any other workouts in usual what I am here doing is lying down on a bench and with a small lightweight plate I am doing back raises side raises and overhead pushes the entire range of motion so my shoulder is basically going through the internal rotation external rotation and overhead pressing this will get your shoulder really warmed up you can do it couple of times 10 to 15 repetitions and you should start feeling the extreme amount of blood pump in your shoulder muscles great sign that you're ready to go now for my first exercise i'm going to do cable lateral races three sets 20 repetitions with my arms coming across each other every repetition what i have realized is standing in front of the machine facing the machine the cable crossover machine which i have in my gym gives me a better way to stretch out instead of standing the other way around so that's what i'm doing here basically the camera is behind the machine so you, you i'm facing the equipment the cable crossover machine and here i'm doing lateral races three sets 20 repetitions full range of motion remember and try to slow down the lowering part of the motion wherein as you bring your arms down you try want to go as slow as possible maybe two to three seconds even four seconds to start feeling that intense amount of burn in your lateral muscles and you can clearly see in the video how my side delts and fair bit of my ray delts are working to stabilize my shoulder as we going through the range of motion 45 to 60 seconds break in between is more than sufficient while performing this exercise because we want to get as much blood flowing as possible in the first exercise itself. After completing those, we can simply switch on to one side of the cable machine and start doing the high cable curls, three sets, 20 repetitions with no breaks in between the hands while you're switching from the left to the right arm, you don't take a break, but post that, you can take 30 to 45 seconds of break it should be more than sufficient make sure also that you choose a weight wherein you can accumulate this 20 repetitions in a challenging manner the 15 to 20 repetition mark in your second and third set should be absolutely challenging now here you can see clearly how i position myself keeping my bicep away from my entire midline of my body away from my chest in a stretched position and from there we curl completely Again, full range of motion, stretch out completely and then curl completely with a full contraction. I also tend to leave the cable a little bit through my fingers to give me that extra bit of pull range. It's not necessary, but something which I prefer to do always. Post completing those, I decided to try out the overhead press machine once again to do my overhead presses. This time I'm sitting a little bit in an inclined manner like I used to do in my previous videos when I'm doing the dumbbell overhead presses and I tried to figure out my hand location wherein I could get a little bit of supernated grip so that my palms are facing behind me 
So on the first set, I was still figuring out, but in the second set, I figured out I can place them completely supinated, basically completely. My palms are facing behind me and this gave me a lot of in terms of pressure or also the load shifting was a lot on my front delt than on my mid delt and that was my objective to do that to put a lot of load on my front delts and the mid delts so three sets 20 repetitions with 45 to 60 seconds break in between and here you can see from behind clearly how my front delt and my mid delt are getting stretched out as i go down and as i push back up they're working really hard to push the weight over my head and you can see how I position my hands completely supinated. My palms are facing behind me. So after finishing off those, we move back to a little bit more bicep work. Simple, classic bubble curls, three sets, 20 repetitions, full range of motion with 45 seconds break in between. By now, my arms were completely on fire. You can see my veins popping out. That's because of the blood rush of all the front races and the bicep exercise which we have already done we just need to keep pushing more i am trying to keep myself a little bit high on the volume range wherein i get as many repetitions as possible that is giving me better growth so i'm sticking to that at the same time trying to increase weight whenever possible so here you can see from the side i also tend to activate my tricep muscle by activate i mean Whenever I completely go down, I create a complete full range, full uh, extension of my elbows. So my triceps contract and from there I pull the bubble back up to create a complete contraction in my bicep muscle. So this always gives me a better amount of blood flow and better amount of pump. I keep my wrist slightly turned down, like slightly bent so that that takes the load away from my forearms that could be individual preference but yes that's also something which i do after the curls we move back to dumbbell lateral races this time i'm doing it seated but again the range of motion is still full range of motion seated because it's comfortable you can do it standing also but seated it's the same result we're working on our shoulder muscles so it's absolutely fine and you can see how I take the dumbbells all the way up above my head and from there as I come down I slow down as much as possible keeping the load tension really high on my lateral muscles and from this angle you can clearly see how demanded my shoulders are or how much work they have to do every time I try to get the weight up or as I slow down as the weight comes down the muscles they are working really hard to make sure I get back up again make sure you are able to achieve those 20 repetitions don't choose a weight wherein you're not able to complete 20 repetitions if it is if that means you will just need to do 2.5 kilos each hand that's absolutely fine just make sure it is challenging for those 20 repetitions you will tend to fail between 15 to 20 repetitions in second and third set but that's absolutely fine post completing those i moved on to preacher curls on an inclined bench again three sets 20 repetitions no break while switching from one arm to the other you can take a break of 30 seconds in between sets you want here again a full range of motion and also positioning yourself away from your bicep muscles so as you can see i'm standing in an open stance wherein my chest is away from my shoulder or the working hand at least and from there you start curling again weight should be something wherein you fail in between 15 to 20 repetitions if you take something extremely heavy it's not necessary we want to accumulate the volume in terms of repetitions here and you see even from this side no break in between switching arms and full range of motion now post completing these on an inclined bench you can do this also on a preacher setup but i prefer to do this on an inclined bench gives me a better connect uh, for my muscle again individual preference after those i move back to front races again a little bit of more focus on my front delt because somehow i'm feeling they're not as developed as i want them to be in terms of strength also so three sets 20 repetitions of front races with a easy bubble now you can also do this with a straight bubble but easy bubble 
allows me to grip it a little bit closer way more comfortably because with a straight barbel my wrist are a little bit awkward position and i did not like how i'm holding it so easy barbel allows me to grip it close together and put a lot more emphasis on my front delts and as you can see in every repetition as i go down with my bent elbows it allows me to create a much more stretch for my front delts so and from that position when i push back up there's a lot more tension building up as i push it up and full range of motion helps me to create maximum contraction and maximum stretch go slow build more muscle that's what i learned in this last couple of or at least few weeks i was about to say couple of months but it was more than months that took me to understand that full range of motion slow and steady gets you more gains so i'm going to stick to that for a long time after completing these i moved on to a little bit of red delt work the reason why i have positioned this in the last is because i feel i have sufficient and good red delt development and whenever i am doing my back exercises i tend to hit them also pretty well so for finishing off with a red delt i am simply using an elastic band and i am doing red delt flies or you can also say red delt open um, w's multiple names similar exercise and as i did it last time i placed couple of cushions under my armpits so that my elbows don't drive out and from there with my thumbs pointing out i slowly open up my arms with my red delt contractions this should put your hands on fire at least your shoulder red delt shoulders on fire now i do three i did three sets as many repetitions as possible every set to failure because it totally varies where or how much you are able to do in while using an elastic band for everyone so do as many repetitions as possible failure is your best friend here accumulate as much blood as possible and it turned out great for me and that's it we are done with our exercises i'm going to finish off with a simple vertical hang to decompress my shoulders stretch out my biceps thank you so much for watching me if you did like the video you know just like the video and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe i hope the workout was really effective for you if you have if you have done that along with me if not if you are doing it later on i hope it turns out really awesome but make sure that you stretch out any kind of static stretching or do a vertical hang like me to finish off your workout so once again thank you so much for watching me have a great day i will see you in the next video